Hi everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org, and in this video I'm going to go through and uh, talk about some of the commands that you will need to uh, start to get your terminal server up and running. Uh, this is R3, and this is R3 right here. I got my octal cables connected to it. The uh, previous video was about the physical configuration and all that good stuff. This is about the logical configuration and the configuration that you're going to have to put onto your terminal server right there, R3. Okay, good thing about this is that you do not have to change anything on your end user devices. Okay, like you don't have to do any special configuration for these switches or these other routers. It's just going to connect. How's it going to connect? Well, with our octal cable, it's going to connect via the console port. For me, I'm connecting here with just a console cable directly connected to my computer. You can set it up where you can connect with SSH or something truly remote and still control that console uh, terminal server, control all these other guys. Okay, So let's get into the configuration and I'll kind of walk you through it a little bit. So basically I'm just going to do, a, or you did, a show run command and uh, just give you a brief overview of the total configuration that you need for a terminal server and then I'm going to go back and just you know dig into a part of uh, this part here okay so a couple things you need host statements right here all right and then you need a loopback interface right here so you can always connect to it and then you need to make some changes on the lines down here this is going to be a different video so just be aware if you want to screenshot this or just throw this into your own config uh, this will get you up and running but I want to explain it a little more in a future video okay uh, this is what we're going to talk about today just the host statements and the loopback so the loopback is pretty self-explanatory right it's just uh, it's always going to be up and it's always should be accessible and all that stuff so 10.0.0.1 is the loopback. Let's go back and forth with these host statements. Each one is going to be for a individual router or an individual switch. Going backwards, we're going to say when we access 10.0.0.1 on port 2033, we're going to connect to the host S1. Okay. If we go forward, we're going to say the host, whose name is S2, used port 2034 on address 10001 to connect okay let me just briefly show you and then we'll get back into it so I'm going to do s1 that's it that's the host name right here okay so all you do is that's your host name that's all you connect in privileged exec mode right there s1 okay now I'm just gonna get back out of this Control Shift Six and then X, and then right. You might have to mash the keys a little bit. TerraTerm doesn't work perfectly. Neither does Putty. So there's that. Uh, one thing, just be aware. Show sessions. Okay, that little star next to it. This is your default. What does that mean? If I hit Enter, I connect back to that one. Okay, just be aware. We'll talk about it in future videos. Okay, but. So I'm going to go, I'm just going to disconnect that. And we'll get back to where we are talking about with the configuration. Like I said, all for future videos. Because if I get off on a tangent, it'll be like, it'll go way too long. It'll be all, all over the place. So host name is going to be S1. It's going to use port 2033 to connect to the loopback, which is on 10.0.0.1. How do we find this? Okay, so first thing, go to show line. All right, these are the lines. You see, TTY is going to go from 64, TTY, 233, TTY. All right, these are your asynchronous ports. I went and I just did a quick search. I found uh, NM16AS. Uh, mine, because I have four, is NM32, Network Module 32 Asynchronous, okay? But they do have a nice little numbering scheme right here. So I'll, uh, I'll attach this to the bottom of the video, the link. But basically, our line is 33, right? Our starting line is 33. There we go. That's where you match it up. TTY, TTY, okay? So we are using slot number one on this router. And the port we're going to use is 2033. So remember, 
The first line is line 33. The first uh, port is 2033. So let's go back and let's just do a, well, let's just scroll up. We don't need to hit a million show run commands, but you see that? So the first, uh, the first octal cable, the first numbered octal cable is the first line, is the first port, is the first connection. Okay. Now, what am I talking about the first numbered port? When you get an octal cable, you're going to have numbers. See, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so that's how you can tell what number you're using. You can, so you probably need to write this down, get like a little diagram, but that's how you're going to find out. You're going to say, okay, uh, port 1, the, uh, you know, the number, the console cable with 1 on it. In this one here, if you can see it, it says 0 to 7 right here. That's ah, terrible. I can't see that. But this is the first. This is the first one, okay? So the first number one console cable is going to be 33. All right. So what we see here is that I'm using two octal cables for two different things. This one is for my switches, this one is for my routers. All right. So if you see my switch ports. The, you know, the open ones, 2033 to 2040, that's 8. And then the router ones, 2041 to 2048. I'm not using them all, but that is how it works. Okay, so like I said, I'll put this link up on the uh, below, and we'll take it from there. Now, if you know, my, route, my numbering scheme is R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, R6. Okay, so this is our because the number is the clearest, right? Number four. Four goes directly into this one. This is R5. So it's the fourth port on that second octal cable. So remember, we start at 2041 for the second octal cable. Two, three, four. 2044 is the port right here, is R5, which is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, might be a little, uh, I hope it's not that complicated, but uh, really you kind of have to see this to, uh, to just see how it works. Okay, 2045, this is the fifth port, this is our six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, 2045. Okay, so if you were using the uh, 2033, 2034, 2035, well, instead of 2041 is your first port, 2033 is, okay? So this guy at the bottom, he's 2033. He's the first he's the first port on the first TTY line, okay? So 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. And this is my layer 3 right here. So even we can even see this is pretty good. Okay, switch one, it's down here, 33, shut, hold on, okay, so 33, 34, 35, 36, 37 is the layer 3, right there, okay, you might have to rewind it and uh, just watch it again, it, uh, it might be a little convoluted, but uh, I've worked with it for a while, so it might not seem as complicated on my side, right, but you do, you have to match up the TTY line and then the Telnet port. That's what we're doing here. And then, in addition to that, the number on your octal cable, right? Like three, four, five, okay, things like that. So, that is how you're gonna. Oh, hold on. What did I do? Hold on. So, that's kind of all I have for this video. Just basically wanted to show you first, you create these host statements, then well, you have to create the loopback too, but I mean just the order of the running config. Basically, create your loopback, then create your host statements to connect to the loopback on the ports, which you have to match up over here on this thing. Okay. So in the next video, I'm going to talk about the how you configure the lines down here and just give a little bit more explanation on that. But uh, 
these over here I hope that's clear enough uh, it's you know you might just have to digest it a little bit because it's there is a lot of moving parts here so uh, that's what I have for this one and in the other one next video I'll talk about the lines and what you need to configure here to get your terminal server up and running and then we'll talk about some commands after that uh, and then you know be fully up and, and uh, functional at that point so uh, stay tuned for that uh, this future video about these lines here